Hi guys, this is for module 12.2, graphing systems of linear inequalities. So we've already graphed uh, linear inequalities before, or inequalities before, now we're just doing systems. So instead of just graphing one linear inequality, we can graph more than one, like two, okay? So how do we uh, solve a system of linear inequalities? Our shortest answer is basically we graph it. Um, we graph the inequalities, all right, and then once we graph the system uh, on the same coordinate plane, okay, x and y, um, the solution will be all the points in the area. So there's actually an area, not just x marks a spot anymore where they the two functions intersect, but now it's an area that's shaded and where the two inequalities overlap, okay? So if you remember, we have, let's say this is our inequality, a solid line, a solid boundary line, and forgive me, that was terrible y intercept but again here's your cartesian plane there's your y axis and there's your uh, x axis right and we had that whole situation where you shade up or below right and if you shade up that's the true area right that's where all your solutions exist and this will be your false well now we're just you know including another line all right another uh, inequality. So let's say we got this inequality here. It's a solid boundary line. But then all of a sudden, okay, so let's say this f of x and this guy's g of x. And let's just say he's shaded um, uh, above as well. Okay. He'd be shaded here, you know, above his line. And then basically you still have some false areas, right, for both of them. So you're going to see that. Now, yeah, it's, uh, it's only going to be where they overlap. So this area is where it overlaps, right? So that's the true area. This area right here that I'm like triple shading, okay? Now, why is it false here? Because the other function wasn't shading there, okay? Only that, only g of x was shading there, not f of x. So it has to be where both, both overlap, okay? So let's see it in more of a context and um, more specific problem. All right, so determining solutions of systems in linear inequality. So again, a system of linear inequalities is a lot like any other system, except it consists of two or more linear inequalities, main words inequalities, that have the same variables, and we're going to be playing with x and y. All right, now the solutions of the systems of linear inequalities are a little different. They're all, okay, all of the ordered pairs. All right, again, x comma y that make the inequality system true, okay? Just like in my picture, okay, that I drew earlier. All right, so let's say we have y is, okay, we're gonna solve this guy. So y is less than four x minus three. So again, b's are in trees. My initial value um, in my function is negative three. So on my graph, my intercept will be at zero comma negative three. That's down here. And thank you, Marker, for doing that wonderful little mistake. I like to blame the tool, but after a while, I'm just trying to figure out if it's me. There you go. So 0, 0,3 is right there. And then my slope, okay, or my rate of change is 4 over 1, right? So I go up 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4 over 1. There's my new coordinate. And if you do the same thing, constant rate of change, that'll help me draw my line. Of course, my line has to be dotted or solid. It's got to be dotted because there's no... Um, victim underneath my alligator, right? So it's going to be dotted. Okay, so there's my dotted uh, boundary line. Okay, now where do we shade? Up or below? Uh, we shade below because y is less than. Okay, and that's what we're talking about. So less than, so we shade below. So I'm going to shade below. Okay, my boundary line. And we've learned this before, right? So you're like, hey, this is, uh, we already learned this. Yep, you did. All right, so now I'm going to draw, or I'm going to graph the other function. Let me use a different color here. Uh, let's use blue, okay, for this guy right here. So again, my B is plus 3, my initial value, okay, and my y-intercept on my graph. So there it is. There's my y-intercept. And then my slope is negative two, so my rate of change is down two units over one. Oops, sorry, mistake there. 
So I go down two over one. So one, two, again, what I'm doing is here is I'm going one, two, and then over one. Hey, look at that, it lands right there. Okay, and then down two again, over one, down two, over one, and then dotted or solid, solid, because it's got the line that's greater than and equal to. Okay, so it's gonna be solid. Here I am trying to draw this straight line. Oh boy, that is the worst line ever. I wonder if there's like a little option to where I can just automatically drag and drop a straight line. That'd be very useful. I think there is, but I think I have to get out of the PowerPoint presentation. There we go. Okay, so ignore that little rubbish right there. Okay, ignore, ignore that. Um, that's not a part of the line. Now I'm keeping it because that's a pretty decent line. Actually, if I erase it, how much of it would you erase? Oh, only that much. Okay, there we go. There. All right, and now do we shade above or below? It's greater than or equal to, so we shade above. So I'm gonna shade above that blue boundary line, okay? Above the blue boundary line. Okay, so as you can see, we have, uh, we have some uh, overlap, right, between the shading region of the uh, red function and the blue function. That will be the true area, okay? So let me use uh, uh, black, there we go. So this area is all true, okay? So anything below uh, the red function right there, but above the blue function, okay? This whole area is true. That's the overlap that they're talking about. So all your solutions are in there. Now they're not up in this region because it's not shared with the red uh, shaded region. It's not out here where neither of the shaded regions exist. All right, it's gotta be in both the overlap. So it's false there, it's false down here where only the red is, okay. because the blue doesn't exist there. So let's take a look. Uh, would the following ordered pairs or set of coordinates be solutions? Uh, why or why not? Uh, let's check one comma one. Let's see, where's one comma one? One comma one is like right here, right? But if you notice, uh, we got a, a dotted boundary line right there, okay? So technically it doesn't land on uh, y being less than four uh, x minus three, okay? Because they're not both solid. Only one of them is a solid boundary line. So it doesn't work for the red guy, so uh, that's false. Okay, so no, not a solution because it's false, okay? Um, now one comma negative two, so you go to one, code negative two, that's right here. Okay, so is that, nope, that's false. That's in the false area, right? Because it's not shaded by the blue. The blue does not include it. Only the red, okay, uh, is two comma one. Let's see, two comma one. Hey, hey, two comma one's in the true area. It's in the overlap, okay. So yeah, that's definitely true, okay. True. So yes, it's a solution, okay. Ding, ding, ding. Um, one comma four. One comma four. It's up here in this blue region right there in the false region, right? So that is definitely, definitely uh, false. That means it is not a solution. Okay, so false. Okay, it's not a solution, so no. It's only in the blue region, okay? It's, it has to be in both uh, regions, all right, for it to be true. All right, uh, your turn number one. Again, go ahead and graph this. You can always use Desmos. Desmos graphing. I mean, you won't be able to use it on your test. If you want, you can only you know practice your. Here's my here's my B, my M. I do recommend using different colors um, or labeling. Maybe you call this guy this function f of x and call this guy g of x. It's totally up to you. All right. So whatever you can do to differentiate, just make sure you shade correctly your boundary lines. Okay. So again, what's my B, and then what's my rate of change, my rise over run, 
Um, is it going to be dotted or solid, right? Dotted or solid. And then shade up or down, right? So be aware that's the methodology for graphing, OK? And then do the same thing. See if these guys are solutions or not. All right, and try to explain why. If they're in the shaded region or not, uh, you know, you explain why, OK? All right, so graphing systems with inequalities with parallel boundary lines. So lines can be parallel. That happens. So let's talk about that. Now, if we graph the system below in this example, all right, we would notice that uh, we would get something like this in, in, our, in our graph. All right, what we do know is uh, this, um, this function right here, this guy right there, he's shaded to the left. All right, he's greater than. All right, it looks like it's this guy that we're talking about. Okay, that's the boundary line. Now, for this equation, he's shaded, you know, over here. So technically, it's not double shaded in that region, right? And it's not double shaded in that region. Yeah, it's shaded by one of them, but it's got to be shaded by both. And if you notice this little middle sliver here, that's false too, because neither of the shading regions exist. So guess what? This guy has no solutions, all right? There are no solutions here. Um, so be aware of, of that concept, OK? Um, there are situations where there is no coordinate that is shared in both functions. Right? That, that happens, all right? So let's take a look at this next example. I'm going to use uh, color coding here just to make sure you know which one I'm talking about. I'm going to use a light blue here for this guy. Um, y is greater than x minus 2. So I go to negative 2 right there. That's my b, right? And then my slope is up 1 over 1, right? Up 1 over 1. And is it dotted or solid? It is dotted. So I'm always using that methodology for graphing these. Do I shade up or down? It's greater than, so I shade up. I shade above that that boundary line. There we go. All right, so let's use a, a good complementing color. We'll say red, OK, for y is less than or equal to x plus 4. So I go to, what's my b? Positive 4. And I go up 1 over 1 because of my slope, right? 1x, so up 1 over 1. And it's solid because it's less than or equal to. How nice of them. And if you notice, their slopes are the same. So you should have uh, parallel lines. Okay. Now, it is shaded down, right, because it's less than or equal to. So we are going to shade down below the red boundary line. And then now let's talk about the possible regions that could be a uh, solution. So I'll use, I'll use uh, black for that conversation. There we go. Now, if you look over here, this region is false. Sorry, I almost did true there. It is false because it's only the blue shaded region. If you look in between the two parallel lines, that's actually double shaded by both red and blue. All right, both those shaded regions exist. So yeah, in that area, that's all true, OK? If you look below, though, it's too far red, so it's also false, OK? There's no blue shaded region, OK? They both have to coexist. And if they don't both coexist, it's false. If they both do, it's true, OK? So the solutions of are all points um, inside or in between, right, the parallel lines and on the blank line and on, um, on this line right here, OK? Because it is technically solid, right? It's a solid boundary line. So on the red line, OK? Because that's true. That's also true, just to be, you know, give you the idea. All right? So be aware of solid boundary lines. Those do make a big difference. All right, your turn number two. Again, same thing. Uh, use different colors. Uh, color pencils are around. Again, what's my B? Rise over run, dotted or solid, and shade up or shade down. And then do the same thing here. Uh, explain um, whether or not these coordinates are true or false. OK, make sure you explain why. Think about the shaded regions. And also, real quick, if you notice, what are their slopes? 
you'd realize that you're probably going to deal with some parallel lines. Okay. All right, guys, it's a uh, quick lesson. And uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, again, practice your graphing in slope intercept form and be aware of boundary lines and which direction to shade. All right, have a great day. Thank you.